Hello friends, Salaamu Alaikum. That means peace be upon you in Arabic and that's the traditional way we greet each other in Islam. This is the month of Ramadan. It's a month in which Muslims across the globe fast from way before sunrise to sunset every single day. That means they're not eating, they're not drinking anything, and they're trying to be the very best that they can be. Um, in these 30 days, right now we're about one week into Ramadan and the fast is pretty long. Um, we start at about 4.30 in the morning every day and then we break our fast. That means we eat um, at 7.30 in the evening. Uh, so yeah, some of you might have Muslim uh, classmates at school and you may be noticing that they're a little bit hungry and tired this month. At the end of Ramadan, we have a big celebration and that holiday is called Eid. So the book I'm choosing to read to you all today is called Tis the Night Before Eid. And it's written by actually a local author from Massachusetts and her name is Yasmin Rashidi. The illustrations in this book are by Maryam Aldasha. I'll read this book for you. And this book is gonna really introduce us to what Ramadan is all about. It's the night before Eid. It's the night before Eid, Ramadan has gone past. It's days filled with blessings that fly by too fast. The last of far has been eaten dishes packed away, and tomorrow we'll feast to celebrate Eid day. So it's the very last night of the month of Ramadan in this book. That means they're having the last meal um, that breaks the fast at sunset time. That's a lot of food on the table, don't you think? Tarawih is now finished. At home we will stay. No more trips to the masjid at night time to pray. Tarawih is an extra long prayer that Muslims make at night, every single night during Ramadan. And for that, uh, for that prayer, a lot of people will go to the mosque, which is called a masjid in Arabic, um, to pray together. Of course, this is a pandemic year, so this is not how we would be praying this year. The house has been cleaned, the clothes have been pressed. Mama says Eid's the day to look our very best. It's a busy night the night before Eid. Desserts have been baked. Ma'mul is so sweet. That's a special dessert. We can't wait to dig into such a tasty treat. That's them making ma'mul. It's a baked dessert, usually has a date filling inside. Eid clothes are laid out on the dresser with care for an early morning to make it on time to the prayer. So the day of Eid also, Muslims will congregate together at the mosque um, and do a prayer. We kids are all sleeping snug and warm in our beds with visions of presents dancing around in our heads. They're wondering what all presents they're gonna get in the morning. We fasted so wonderfully for 30 days straight, not eating till sundown, then breaking fast with a date. That's the dad in the picture and they're, they're praying together at home. Mama in her hijab, that's the scarf, that's the scarf I'm wearing too. Mama in her hijab recites her last line of the Quran sent down to mankind as a sign. Baba in his thobe, that's the long clothes he's wearing, stands once more to pray, begging Allah to bless and guide his family's way. So the word for God in Islam is Allah. And there he is making his prayer in the last night of Ramadan. You can see the new moon is coming up. So Ramadan follows the lunar calendar. It depends on when you get the new moon of the month and then the month ends, that's when we have Eid. Ramadan has ended, but its spirit lives on. 
in hearts cleansed by mercy and the words of the Quran. The night will go quickly, and then will come dawn, when sleepy eyes open and tired mouths yawn. But right now, we all sleep, tucked in our beds tight. Eid Mubarak, that means have a blessed Eid. Eid Mubarak to all, and to all a good night. And I hope you enjoyed the story. We're about eight days, nine days into Ramadan today. Um, that means we have about two thirds of the month left. We can't wait for Eid, which will hopefully be on May 12th this year. Take care.